are they going to believe us if we go back and say this is empty? Also, Fowler Cunt's treated like a thief. The Marseille train has been cancelled. Look at all the rubbish on the track. Feels as rough as rough could be. Driving around Marseille, I have to be honest, it's my kind of hell. I don't know why I feel emotional on that. I think it's just been one of those hard days. If you can't beat them, join them! Hi, I'm Daz and she's B, and we're on a 12-week road trip round France with our boys and our greyhound Sammy. Join us as we explore the history, beauty and fun we can squeeze in while getting to grips with the challenges of working and home educating on the road as a family in France, living a life less ordinary as we escape in the motor. Last night in my enthusiasm for getting to Marseille, just so that we can appreciate it for a couple of hours before we go on to the Colonque and Cassis, um, I booked train tickets and then looking at how far my train station was to the beach this morning, I realised the train station Marseille doesn't actually exist. There's about three train stations in Marseille, which I should have probably checked. And I just had to buy an extra few uh, stops of journey to and fro to get us a little bit further into Marseille. I'm now thinking as soon as we get off the train, we're going to have to get, I think, I can see a tram line. And that tram line takes us fairly close to one of these beaches. If I survive today, I'm going to be very pleased. Back again, and I've barely moved, except I have moved. We've got ourselves ready, brushed our teeth, put our shoes on. And then I look at my phone and it says that the Marseille train has been cancelled. You just can't write this stuff, can you? In fact, it's just our return journey that's cancelled. Our outbound is okay. But her... it back? I will work it out, it's fine. I don't think you will work it out. I will work it out. I'm great at working things out. First leg of the journey done, we've made it onto the train and we've got all the way into the terminus in Marseille. Now we've got to get the metro to the beach. Well, B's now off onto the train and I thought I'll go and get some gas. So I was doing a few little visual checks around the van. Back window is open, got that one. I'm not going anywhere for the next 10 minutes. It seems number three bin bag is required up there. Well, I hate to say it, but they don't keep their trains in very good state, do they? Look at all the rubbish on the track. There seems to be less care of cleanliness in the train station, for sure. We decided we didn't want to take our motorhome into Marseille just because of the amount of negative stuff that you can read on Park for night. It could be that we're just being wusses, but it feels like a major city and it feels like a grubby city. And I've just seen the queue for the toilets. So I won't be queuing for those. Now I will always be thankful for London Waterloo because it's a nice train station. We have trees, but we have a very grubby floor. Edouard, Edouard, Edouard. So after the horror of the filth of this train station, um, we're now in search of BA tickets for the metro. So we're heading down to M1 and M2, which are the two lines that you can take, the two metro uh, lines. I'm hoping the tickets are down here. So we're now in the queue to get our tickets for the metro. On the metro system in Marseille, children are payable from ages six up, so I had to pay for all the children. It's 180 per journey, or you can get a group of four for under five euros, and then you have to take that journey in an hour. Well, I mean, a place called Castorama, where they online seem to suggest they have the gas bottles, but to be honest, I won't be coming back here in a hurry. Not only is it six euros more expensive than CPU, also felt like I was treated like a thief. So I've been uh, questioned by a guy who didn't speak any English, but just spoke loads of French to me about what I was doing with the bottle in the gas aisle. And then at the tills, I tried to explain to the lady because they often have the tills shut, or there's a gate of some kind, just to say, this is my bottle, I came in with it, it's empty. Again, she took it off me, checked the weight, looked at the red scoots like, I would, even though these things stay on, I would just rip them off because it confuses people. Uh, and then stood at the till for about five minutes with a big explanation for the cashier to say, just to show you I'm not a thief, I walked in with this, your security guard saw me. <laughs> it's empty, but you don't have any stock, so I'm leaving. Is that okay? I mean, I like the diligence compared to sort of the shopping experience I get at Asda, where people can have their full dinner in the aisles and no one seems to mind. But um, I don't like feeling like a thief. Anyway, 
back to more serious stuff. Where am I going to get gas from? So the next one, Roche Metro, the next Metro is in six minutes and then the one after that is in 13 minutes. Well, we did the Metro, we made it, now we've got to try and find our way to the beach. Yeah, we've got a half an hour walk straight down this road. Feels as rough as rough could be. People are driving like maniacs. We just crossed this crossing with the green light on and a motorcyclist just drove in front of us. It's not a nice busy. We haven't reached the nice beautiful bit. Every single tree, every single tree has a little sort of circle of mud or stones and decoration around it. Every single one has at least one or two dog plops just left there. I know it will break down. I know it will disappear eventually. I'm sure that's the argument the French have, that it will eventually break down. Why are we putting it into bags? Well, we know it's hazardous to health. It's just sad to see all the dog poo everywhere. We can see in the distance some blue. Oh, okay. Suddenly it's all starting to look a bit beautiful. We've made it and it's busy, it's crazy, it's hot, and we just walked down a pathway that just stunk of urine. This place is massive. Already onto my third member of staff that I've asked for directions, and then I tend to just nod when I don't really understand what I say. I get the last bit, is it on the right or on the left? But I've now got a picture off my phone, so I'm gonna go and find another member of staff and show them that. Well, six member of staffs later, I found it. Or well, the section I imagine it'd be in if it was here. Next. So I'm running out of options here, I'm just gonna have to drive further and further away from the town. And tourists going around buying up all the gas. Sold out again. That's casino. Well I'm now in the Catalan village and it's huge. It's like as big as a massive Tesco out of town store. It's even got a gym. I think there's some rock climbing going on. Well found it. They're all tiny bottles. Well, no sign of big bowls of gas anywhere. There are lots of trousers. Now, I've survived in shorts for two months, and I could buy some trousers in here right now. No kids around me or a dog. Except I now see the last few weeks as a challenge to see if I can get through it without buying any trousers. It's pretty tempting, though. Join them! No! Another one bites the dust. Oh, good buddies. A brand new spanking bowl of this. If the last one lasts nine days, this is going to last about four or five. Okay, last shop before I give up, it's going to be one of the Brico shops around the corner. And then I'll go and pick up B and the boys from the beach and try going somewhere way out of town. Now, let's see if I can get out of here without being called a thief. Police on horseback. Uh, it's probably a good idea. This place is probably going to get quite interesting at night time. I'm loving those mountains though. Well, in desperation for a toilet and something to eat, we're grabbing chips in here. Well, that's it. I sort of give up at the moment. That's Massive Brico Depot, who sounded very positive when I asked about where it was. The first person she asked on the shop floor said, they haven't got it or don't know it. Driving around Marseille, I have to be honest, it's my kind of hell. Uh, so Sammy and I, rather hot, are going to go and pick up B and the boys somewhere down the seafront, which again I think sounds like an absolute nightmare. There's all sorts of high barriers, 20 million roads crossing over each other, million people, all kinds of traffic, graffiti everywhere, tower blocks. Nothing like the countryside. So I want to go and grab B. As I said to him just now, I hate this. Let's get out of here. So the beauty is we're not we're not bound to be here. We can go where we want. So I think that's Marseille done. Stampy is down there somewhere. Daz is picking us up, but there's nowhere to stop. Well, this is fun. Oh golly! We 
We just want to leave this place. That was mental. Couldn't film it because I literally didn't have any hands. The gendarmerie on horses just outside. Daz followed a bus, went into the bus lane very, very briefly, picked us all up. Luckily, I had the motorhome spare keys in my bag, was able to unlock and get everybody in. Oh, what a mental, mental mission that was. What I keep saying to the kids is that there are loads and loads of beautiful parts to this big, beautiful city. Unfortunately, Daz has had to trail around looking for gas today, so he's seen the very worst of it. And we've literally seen the train station a uh, road leading down to one of the beaches. There are several beaches. Our one wasn't particularly nice, but it was the scenery, scenery around it and the hills and the mountains were fantastic. So I think we had our own personal experience of it today, but our own personal experience is pretty awful. And I'm sure that there are lots of you out there that have had amazing experiences here. And I'd love to hear from you because maybe there's a better beach for us to go to, or there's a hidden gem. But our conclusion is Marseille is not somewhere to take your motor home because you may well struggle to get your gas and you're certainly going to struggle to park it safely and it's very, very busy in the summer. The beach that we were at was La Plage de, del Prado or del Prado. So that was the one that we were not particularly impressed with. If there's another Marseille beach that you know of that is really nice, I'd love to know. But we're now moving on. I think the plan is, but Daz and I have got very sketchy plans for the next few days just because we see that we're over a barrel in terms of where we stay. We think we're going beyond Cassis to a not the next bay on. So I think in our country it was the Meg and now it's going to be the Meg 2. But I love, I love how like the French translation of a film needs to make sense to the French. So instead of frozen, there is no word for frozen in French. So it is, I've probably said this on another vlog, it is the queen of snow, the snow queen, the reine de neige, I think. So this is un eau très trouble. Um, so I don't know whether that means um, in, water, in waters, in troubled waters, very maybe. Troubled, very in troubled. very troubled waters. So, because Meg is not a word. It's not a word to us, really. I guess we've got, um, what is the Meg, Megalosaurus or something? Megalodon. Megalodon, thank you, uh, science fans. So it means the Megalodon, but I'm guessing they have a different word for Megalodon, which is why it wouldn't have worked. I just said it's nice to hear the cigars again, which I don't, didn't think I'd ever say, rather than the mopeds and the buses and the beeping and the crowds and the engines, the engines, the, the never-ending engines of a big city. Yeah, there's a lot of aggressive driving. Imagine living here with these beautiful mountains behind you in this sunshine. Now that is a dramatic landscape. I don't think I'd ever get bored of that. So yeah, we've come out of town and then suddenly it's like breathing out. I no longer have my shoulders tensed up. I no longer feel like I'm gonna have my bag snatched. This is the road from Marseille to Cassis. Now I like the, I like the fact that we're going to somewhere that translates as black current. That's kind of cute. I'm sure they say it in a far more elegant and sophisticated way, Cassis. But uh, that's where we're going. So this is a really nice mountain road. How are you feeling about that, Daz? Nervous? So okay. I can't believe I was actually there. Where's the sea? There's the sea. It's going to whip round this mountain. Yeah, really nice. Boys, we're going round like a mountain pass. Oh look, we're entering the National Park de Colonk. We're in the Colonks, we're in the Colonks. Oh, beauty, beauty. Huh? What's that? There's a motorhome with a big cross through it. You're that. joking? I think that's possibly for the car for stopping. Oh, thank God. I was going to say, the road itself looked quite direct from what I could see. What worries me is that we weren't supposed to bring a motorhome up here. Is today about to get a lot worse? Oh my gosh, look at that coastline! <laughs> so we found ourselves in a little town called La Ciotach, and this is last chance alley, otherwise, we have no gas for the weekend. Would you believe it? They've got two. Uh, they don't feel very heavy, so I'm just going to check the weight of them and 
62 euros. I've got a feeling that's if you want it brand new. We're just doing a recharge. I've just got to find out where I bring my bottle in to, so I can get the recharge cost and not the full cost. Though I am thinking about why don't we just spend 62 and have a backup. So here we are in La Cieta. So this looks absolutely beautiful here. We've tried camping place after camping place. There's one place that can have us tomorrow. But we still can't find anywhere, even free tonight. <gasps> What's that? It's that, not. That it's... was a free gift from the last campsite. So Daz, in a fit of anger, when leaving the complete, or complete that means uh, full campsite that hadn't left enough of a turning circle for people that aren't staying, uh, he decided that the only bit of turning circle that they had separated off with some tape, he was just going to run into it anyway. And so we've taken it with us. Yeah. We stole it. I'll give it back. <laughs> so I wonder, I wonder if we can stay here for free. We've got the handbrake on. Is there this hanging off the back like with some sort of party vehicle? <laughs> party time! <laughs> I'm just going to go and put this in the bin. Yes, I would like a receipt. I'd like proof. So, after scratching around at the few campsites there are in the area, all of them a little bit rough, we've managed to secure parking overnight for three euros eighty, and it's okay until eleven tomorrow morning. Yay, eleven forty. Let's just hope no one's got a problem with the motorhome being out here. We are slightly hanging over, but then so is he. And definitely the person in front of that, so. They just need to have slightly bigger spaces. Oh, hello. Been moving. Oh, bargains. Yeah, thought you've had enough. Your parking's very good, dear. There was us thinking that we got our gas sorted and that we've got our space for the night and we haven't had to spend very much on it. And actually, we've just gone to start making pasta pesto and there is no gas. And Daz actually said that the gas canister felt light when he picked it up, but his instinct didn't kick in to go and ask. So now we've been away from that place for about 45 minutes. So are they going to believe us if we go back and say this is empty, you sold me an empty one because it's got the clasp on top of it. So something has gone wrong there. Maybe if we all go into the supermarket, there's you know power in numbers maybe, I don't know. Then we lose our space here. We will end up losing our space here, I know. But then you've lost 30 something euros and you've been sold an empty canister. I don't even know which casino it was. It was a casino in this town. It yeah, was several of them. So we were just trying to dash into Marseille, do a couple of things off our hit list and dash out. But of course, when you've got five people producing five lots of waste and using five lots of people's water then you are going to need your services you just are and that's something we perhaps didn't consider so this day can officially do one just when you think some things are starting to go right even though we've got a chock-a-block toilet which stinks we were quite happy with that we were just going to cope with that cook our pasta pesto go down to the beach and have a nice time with sammy paid our three euros 80 to park Really nice parking space, no problems there. Go to go cooking, no, nope, it's empty. So now we are driving back to the casino supermarket, hoping, hoping that they're not going to think that we are liars. There is no proof. How can we, how can we prove that the camping gas was empty? The only thing he's got is he had an inkling that it felt a little bit lighter as he left. I think it's another reminder to ourselves, if we doubt something, we should just follow it up. It's good news, we're back in Casino and they read our information and they believe us and they say it's fine to change over. I don't know why I feel emotional on that. I think it's just been one of those hard days. <laughs> it's probably your relief that you found one that you didn't want to doubt it. So I've just taken that off and I was just saying to B that the seal is completely intact on this. So although this is heavier, this could just as easily be tampered with. And I was just saying, we can fly people into uh, space and we can put people on the moon, but we can't, uh, this company doesn't seem to be able to design a security tag that actually works. Please let this work. Please let it not be a problem on our side.
boring, isn't it, Sam? It's boring. What? Okay. Indy, do you know how to put the gas on? I'll do it again. Oh, okay. Press it in and hold it. Hey! There is gas. That's not a child suite, that is the path that we're taking. So I think we know the reason as to why the waters are empty and as to why it's not absolutely round with people down here today. Oh! Oh! Check out this, we really didn't want to do this. Absolutely empty. It does appear to be a bit of a ghost town though. So I'm now sat here in my smalls and a t-shirt trying to hang on to the last drips of dignity that I have. So there you go, there are my glasses from the bottom of the sea. Oh, très jolie mademoiselle. Until the next escape, thanks for watching.